Hey guys, just doing a quick video on the idea of logarithms. So, so far we've dealt with exponents, otherwise known as powers, which tell you how many times to multiply a given base number by itself. Logarithms are thus very closely related to exponents because a logarithm tells you this. It tells you how many of a certain number we multiply together to make another number of interest. So you could almost think of them as saying the same thing, but just slightly reworded. So, for example, how many 2s multiply together to make 8? Well, we've got 2 times 2 gives you 4, times that by 2 again gives you 8. So, in this situation, in this situation of 8, and thinking of the num number of times I multiply 2 by itself, the logarithm is 3. However, with the concept of logarithms, we have the ability to write this concept here. There's 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8 and the 2 multiplied by itself 3 times, we have a way of writing that in a very specific format called a logarithm, or a log. The way we write that is this log, with a small 2 to the right, which indicates that the base is 2 of 8. And that's the number of interest. Often, if that term, the number of interest, is complex, so it's like a, a product of something like 2x or something, put in brackets, you don't need the brackets here but you, you might as well, it doesn't make a difference to this. The log of 8 to the base of 2 is 3. Why? Because I multiplied 2 by itself 3 times. So that is a special way in mathematics of writing this concept a little shorter. So that lets us confirm or illustrate the link between exponents and logarithms like so. So the base number I'm going to write in red, 2 times by 2 times by 2 is equal to the number of interest I'm going to write in green, which was 8. And the number of times I multiply together, I'm going to write it in blue. So that is the old or exponent way of writing it. Now... If I was to write it with our new code that we're talking about, logs, the base was 2, so I'll keep that in red. The number that I'm interested in is 8. And the number of times I multiplied that base by itself to get 8 is 3. So this illustrates the link between these two concepts. The one on the left is the concept that we're aware of. Um, previously, the concept on the right is what's new and they're very interrelated. So bringing it back to words, the number being multiplied is called the base. So thus, we can say that the logarithm or log of 8 in base 2 is 3. The, num the number of times I need to multiply the base 2 by itself to get 8 is 3. That is the logarithm of 8 in base 2. And so we have the general case here. It's not always going to be 2. The base can be any number. So this link can also be illustrated like so. They're all linked between each other relating to the same thing. If I have the base number a to the power of x is equal to a certain number of interest, well the log in base a of this number of interest is going to be equal to x, which is whatever I multiplied the, um, the which is the number of times I multiplied the base number by itself to get the number of interest. So let's do some practice here. What is log in base 10 of 100? Well, if we bring it back to this situation, I have 100 is equal to the base of 10. What do I mul uh, how many times do I multiply 10 by itself to get 100? I square it, or do 10 times by 10. So, log of 10 to 100 is equal to 2. What is log 3 of 81? 
Well, 81 is equal to 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Times 3 is 27. Times 3 is 81. So 3 to the power of 4. So log in base 3 of 81 is equal to 4. What is log 5? Zero point, uh, log in the base of 5 of 0 0.2. Well, 0 0.2 is actually equal to 1 fifth, which you'll notice is a reciprocal of 5 over 1. So it's 5 to the negative 1. So log... 5, log base 5 of 0 0.2 is actually negative 1. What is log in the base of 10, the fifth root of 100? So 100 is actually equal to, so we're going to rewrite fifth root of 100 as 10 squared. We know for our index laws that this is the same as 10 to the power of 2 on 5. So because the base here is 10 and my base here is 10 now, I can work out what the log is. Log of 10, fifth root of 100 is equal to 2 on 5. Solve for x, log in the base of uh, 3 of x is equal to 5. Well, unlike before, where we knew the number of interest, we don't know the number of interest here. x is going to be equal to 3 to the power of 5. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 9, 27... 81, 243. I got my calculator up, but I didn't actually need it. So x is equal to 243. So that's an overview of the idea of logs, logarithms, and their relation to exponents, and some example problems here. Hopefully that helps you out, and I will see you in the next video.